Okay, so now that the place is all staged, I wanted to take you in. of girl that hid in my face so afraid to tell the world what i've got to say but i have this dream right inside of me i'm gonna let it show it's time to let you know it's so that you know this is real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be now So it is moving day. Can you believe it, guys? This is Bella's room all packed up. This is Brielle's room all packed up. Now the cleaners are coming early in the morning and I cannot wait. Cause you know how it is when you move, there's just junk everywhere. Um. There is our kitchen in shambles, but pretty much everything is emptied out. So we'll go downstairs to the kids' playroom and Brandis's room and see. So I have a laundry room. Shut that. Door reads on. Here was the kids' bathroom. <laughs> okay, so here is the playroom. It's really like ready, right? Told you guys, we were ready. We were not playing games in this place. This is Brandis's room. All packed up. For now, when all of our stuff is gone, we are going to be living in just, um, the realtor's coming to stage the place. So they're bringing their own laundry, or laundry. They're bringing their own furniture. So we basically have to clear everything out as if we're moving, as we are. But we're just gonna keep our air mattresses, which I'm gonna pack in a, one of our big pieces of luggage. So the kids have an air mattress, which they will share. It's a queen size. Hopefully no fighting. And then I have an air mattress as well. So all of our stuff is being taken out and then the realtor is gonna stage their furniture. We're gonna have our air mattresses, but it'll be like staying here, like in an Airbnb or a hotel until we are officially set to move, which is in two weeks. Actually two weeks exactly from today, we will be on the road. So I'm gonna take you upstairs to my room. So, a little makeshift closet, it's tiny. But up here, I have my own bath and shower. And this is where I was. The trailer to be delivered. The trailer is gonna be delivered and we're gonna have movers here this afternoon to actually move all of our stuff in the trailer. We have to try to fit it in the 17 feet foot trailer, um, even though they gave us 28 feet, but if we extend more than 17 feet, it will be up to like $2,000 more. So we're gonna try to get it all in. I've gotten rid of so many things, but I wanna take you outside to see how the house looks on the outside. We did so much work. So here it goes. Look, remember the tan? No more. It is a navy color. It's a red malt. I put planter boxes and put some yellow mums to make it pop in color. But Brandis did such a good job cutting this lawn. Look at the lawn even. It's 
So last night we had a realtor come and take pictures. It is definitely coming soon. Should be in the market by next week if all goes well with inspections. But yeah, all of this area where the kids played. We're saying goodbye. To stage it, and it's quite on the market on Thursday. So close. Okay, so now that the place is all staged, I want to take you in. Doesn't this look beautiful? I am in love with my house all over again. So today, we have a showing. We've had, we've had probably about, I would say six showings so far. So we have another showing this morning. So I'm getting ready to leave and getting the house prepped. And then we will have an open house from one to three. It's only been on the market now for three days. So fingers crossed though, this goes really quickly. I'll keep you updated. So back to the tour. Here is the living room. We've got this big window in the front. Great hardwood floors that are original. They were just stained and uh, refinished. I love my kitchen. You guys know how I like to cook if you see my other videos. I think I'm gonna do a little more cooking videos. What do you think? If you think so, you'd like to see that, some of the fun recipes I do, then um, put a comment below. And here is the main level bath. This is like where the kids' bathroom was. All right. Then we have what would have been Brielle's room. She wanted hot pink, so I didn't want the whole room to be hot pink, I just did a stripe. And then she wanted navy, and again, navy is so dark, but I thought a couple accent walls would be good. So this is the Brielle's room with the matching pink curtains. It's like a bright T-Mobile pink, if you can think of that. I know it kind of looks red on camera. This was Isabella's room. Really girly, gray and pink. So those rooms aren't really staged. Um, it's mainly the dining area, kitchen, the living area, which is the first thing you walk into. I feel like it does give kind of a wow factor. I love it. Then we'll go upstairs to where my room was, or is, for the next week. See how they staged that. I put this nice mirror here. <laughs> Which is nice. I'm gonna do that actually in my next house. I should always have a full length mirror. I don't know why I don't. My ensuite, bathroom, and this is how they staged upstairs. I think it's cute, quaint. So, um, we will now go to the basement because that's the other part they staged. So, we have everything bright and open as the realtor suggested. Our laundry room. And here is the family room or what would have been their play area. It's now like set up into a little family room. It's just cute. Bathroom still working. And here's Brandis's room. He was so obsessed with Mickey Mouse, and I know as he's getting older, I tried to pay homage to Mickey without making it a Mickey room. So, again, red and black are so dark. I decided to just do red at the bottom and just a small black stripe. But yeah, it is empty. Our house is ready. I hope we can get some offers. I'm hearing that people love the inside so far, especially the kitchen and the main level. Um, the only thing they don't like is St. Louis Park homes are very close together, but we also have some neighbors. <laughs> that uh, 
I would say are all but neighborly. They're not mean, they're very nice, but they invite everybody and their brother over all the time at the wrong times. And the other day when there was a showing, um, I secretly parked like a couple blocks away to watch. And they went to their car and opened the doors and just sat there, we share a driveway. So I was wondering why they were sitting there and I saw the people leave uncomfortably while they were staring at each other. I pull up a couple minutes later and I hear they were sitting in their car with all the doors open, music blasting, I mean echoing on houses in the neighborhood. And they were just standing out there. Thing is, they don't even realize what they're doing. So it's not like they're trying to sabotage or anything, it's just who they are. And um, so if anything, I think that's gonna be a hard sell. The thing that I keep hearing is proximity to the neighbors. All the houses here are very close. It's a nice way of saying they don't wanna be with the neighbors. <laughs> and it's always the shared driveway neighbors. So um, yeah, this may be a tough sell. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like if I don't sell it within like the first three months, I'm just gonna rent it out. So, let's see what happens. I hope I don't have to rent it though, because I know renting is a hassle, and I'd prefer not to. I wanna have no ties to here, so I can just be done with it. But anyways, we are back to the front door. There it is again. Can you see how this red door turned out with the navy? Isn't it cute? I love that red door. It was just a pop of color. I love this house. If I could afford to keep it and move, I would. But like I said, I know I'm not really coming back here. There's no purpose and it's expensive. So I'm gonna say goodbye. But anyways, there you go. Here's our home tour. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.